Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another week of Play SVG. I am Dugam Gali coming to you live with my incredible, lovely host, Kyle Cooper. How are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing great, Dara. Happy to be with you guys once again for another edition of Kids versus Pros, where the <laughs> aforementioned kids fight against the aforementioned pros in this week, kids. Well, we have quite the treat with you guys this week. We have brought uh, a, a brother in arms uh, from our side of the desk. But not only are they good on the mic, they're also good with the sticks and also looks surprisingly nice in a chicken suit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to play SVG this week. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Skiff Talks. Skiff, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Where am I? <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't, you know, it's, it's not every day that I get called a pro, but you know what? I figured it's time to pick up the controller once again and to show these kids what I'm made of. But no, it, it's, it's definitely good to be on here. I'm really excited. Um, seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm definitely ready to lose uh, because uh, I, I feel like some of these kids are actually gonna be pretty solid, but we'll see what happens. No, but I'd, I'd imagine that the chicken suit is actually a bit of a power up in of itself. Uh, what kind of, what kind of skills do you feel like it brings to the table? Um, well, uh, I'm able to fly, as you can see from my... <laughs> that is factually a lie, sir. But now, Skiff, I just want to bring you into this. Now, you might be doing some losing today, but things go a little bit differently here on uh, the Play SVG Kids versus Pros. We mm -hmm. run on a points-based system, in case this is your first week watching. For every knockout by a kid, it's two points. Uh, every knockout by our pro is one point, And every knockout by our kid with a bonus is an extra three points. Now, th periodically throughout the, the match, Skiff, we're going to try to even the playing field for our kid here against mm -hmm. your pro, which is you. It's good. So, it's we're going to give you a So, we might be throwing some curveballs at you. I might be asking you, to, how, how are you with your uh, state geography? Good enough. That's a good okay, answer. I feel like, I feel like they gave a bit of an easy one, but how are you with the unconventional control gripping methods? I've messed around. <laughs> What's your take on different types of pasta? Pasta. I am a really big fan of radiatori. Right. Radiatori is that what it's called? I don't. I don't. I don't Italian. But uh, radiator pasta is basically what it is. And that's that's good pasta. I feel like he's a little bit too prepared going into this a, a little bit. I, <laughs> I feel don't know. like if, any, if any, you guys about to throw me, I promise. Listen, if, if anybody, if anybody is like well equipped and is seasoned enough in life to be able to do it. Um, I think I think you're going to be able to. But while we do still have a second, just want to ask uh, a little bit about like what do you do? What do you do in Smash? Who are you? So I am Skiff, uh, formerly wonderful, now just kind of here. But um, <laughs> I'm actually a, a caster. Kind of got a big uh, big push this past year. Unfortunate circumstances, but we made a lot of noise online, and I've just kind of kept rising up through the ranks. And now I'm here for whatever reason, but. It is what it is. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you had some pretty good casting gigs. It's like you guys have actually worked with both of you uh, recently. I know Koopa, our last time was, I was the online portion for Fusion. Dara, we just worked this past weekend for Wanted 3. Mm -hmm. That was that was super fun. Yeah, that was super fun. That was also happening in France at 5 in the morning for me. It was so. a good time. <laughs> relatively speaking for somebody <laughs> i was suffering but still still a part of me was definitely into it um but you know you're talking a little bit about this that like you wouldn't necessarily call yourself a pro what's going on here skiff not not a whole lot of confidence into this one <laughs> no listen i like the place of smash bros right but like these kids just keep getting better man like <laughs> also i yeah. just want to call myself a pro because like my last term i went oh and two i know the game i can be okay at the game my performances are okay but uh, but these kids just keep getting better, man. And we can point to how many kids nowadays that are like 13, 14, and they're making top eights. Like shout outs to Syrup and Tri State. You got Spargo, who's gonna be yes, at sir. Summit. I mean, like, I don't know what I'm getting into. <laughs> well, I think without further ado, I think we can get into things right now. Skiff, are you ready? Absolutely. Well, good cluck to you as we get into our. Oh. First Oh. Matt Shear hanging on the rim. I don't care what the peanut gallery has to say. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm here I... all week, folks. <laughs> you know, oh, Kyle, man. Kyle, I didn't think you'd go through such low-hanging food again, but you, you, you continue to surprise me each time. I'm an old man, Dara. I love a good dad joke. And we are getting into it with not man's best friend, but man's worst enemy, wrestling cat Incineroar. Manned by Skiff going up against uh, our kid here, rocking the Robin. Uh oh. Yeah, and oh Where my gosh. 
Yeah, just a goodie putting on so much damage. A goodie with such a confident lead, but let's make it even more difficult for Skiff. Already? So, yep. Challenge number one. We're gonna throw this one quickly to the audience and make sure that your voting buttons are already. Are we going to make A, Skiff play with his right hand only, or B, make him play with his left hand only? So, you're still safe for a little bit, but not for long, bud. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, so choose, yep, choose down below as it is a Robin with the lead here over Incineroar. Both these characters, pretty slow, but Robin having some added projectiles definitely makes it a little bit harder for Incineroar to, uh, you know, to get the job done here. But Incineroar does have access to uh, Revenge, which is going to make this next move really hard. And that is going to be not a dead Robin yet. Yeah, and with that being said, Skip, for the next 20 seconds, you're going to only be able to play with your uh, left hand only. So lift up your controller. Give us a show for oh. a second. Nah, nah, we're going to yeah. start now. I'm just Starting trying to now. hold it. I'm just trying to hold it. <laughs> Left hand only, bud. What do you got? Oh, I've got a roll. That's it. Roll and yeah. ten. Ten seconds left. That's all you need. Uh, listen, you're you're a cat. Cats land on their feet, right? Is that a <laughs> thing? Like that. Can someone confirm? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm BMing. Okay, okay so if, at the you have reached the conclusion of this challenge. You did a phenomenal job of only taking fifty percent uh, while you at it. So this is even time to fight before we throw you with something else. Jeez. There's no, there's yeah. no rest for the wicked, huh? No, not at all. But speaking of wicked, uh, the uh, wicked magic coming out here uh, from our kid here, still maintaining this lead. Uh, you know, again, Robin having some pretty decent. Oh, okay. A little bit of spaghetti <laughs> on both ends there. I like, I like the attempt there. Skip luckily did not jump into that one. Tries to find the two flame at the ledge with down smash. Is not going to be able to do so. And now look at him confidently and controlling the stage. That's going to be the lead grab. <gasps> but the tome, the release of the tome that... ended up saving him. <laughs> but nothing can save you from this next challenge, Skiff. We're going up with list or twist. So the audience gets to choose. Uh, if uh, was gonna throw a twist into the arena, or if Skip's gonna have to list something. So everybody, mm -hmm. definitely make your uh, voices heard at home, because uh, this next one's a fun one. As we are again on a uh, Skip's down to his last stock here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're already off to a bad start. And with that being said, it does seem like the audience voted for a twist. So, Skip, go ahead and swap your socks. Huh? You heard me. Swap, Swap my socks. socks. Yeah, and you can't attack during a challenge, so you have to put your controller down. Oh, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> well, swapping socks. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, I gotta seconds. get back to stage. You got 20 seconds. Starting now. <laughs> Wait, I'm living. They can't kill me. <laughs> that's not gonna hit, is it? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Let's go. He that's did. It. I'm winning. No, that's the, a win the, for me. That's a big old dub. The madman did it. Skip is successfully twisted. <laughs> I, got, dude, I got all the confidence in the world right now. You have no idea. <laughs> We're not going to play Skip with anything else. So now he's at 120 percent. He has all the rage in the world that he needs. He is on the verge of uh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, yeah, getting nicked by the long-lasting hitbox of that F smash. Ooh, gonna miss <gasps> the. Oh, <laughs> oh. You respect. I, listen, I respect you more as a man, and slightly less as a chicken, but definitely more as a man for going for that right there. Skip, how'd you feel after your first round officially here on SVG? So, like, the one left hand, I was like, okay, you know, that, that kind of expensive. I was not expecting the socks. Are you kidding me? I, I lived, though. I lived. Then mm -hmm. that's a W. I, listen, I know they technically, they technically won the game. I won. I won live here, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a look, look at the replay here uh, in a second. To just really just take into a, like the man, uh, like number one, you're wearing socks oh, in the house. Oh, I think that's strange oh, enough. Yeah, getting number two. Long last whoa, uh, so whoa! I smash. feel like you're talking oh. a lot of smack oh. right now. For something that's not even incorrect. I love yeah, the attempt. Oh. I really like yeah. what Skiff was going for, it. but uh, that's tragic that he didn't get it. That is so sad. He didn't get the spike <laughs> hitbox. Oh man, that was uh, that was something else. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That was good. This is a lot yeah. of fun. I feel like nobody is better suited to doing these challenges for, for our uh, <laughs> pleasure back home than, than you. So you Are did, you did a great job. Or... Okay. Yeah, it looks like we're, we go. we're going right back into it here as, as a skiff mm -hmm. going uh, for redemption here uh, as we get into game number two here between our kid. 
I can't even and confidently skiff. go for redemption. Uh, skiff, on. we got we got some nasty challenges ahead of you, so definitely something to be on the lookout for as we do indeed get into this. So last time around, I really like some of the commitments. Boom, skiff, he was trying to go for some big punishers, but uh, the game said absolutely not, uh, and he wasn't able to get some out. Yeah, well, let's see what. Alrighty, folks, so let's see what we got coming up here as we have reached our uh, first threshold here for our uh, choice. Uh, Skiff, got, let's uh, let's take a look at what we, we got here. Uh, so for the folks at home, what is the hottest planet in the solar system? Is it A, the B, hottest planet? Or is it, it B? Is. Now, now, you, now, you can't answer this. If the audience gets the answer correctly, yep. you oh. have to uh, do a challenge. So it's the okay. answer A, Venus, or B, Mercury. Have mercy. There is no mercy in Fire Emblem, and if there is, you lose. Oh, but that is a great play from our kid right there. And, and as per SVG rules, great play is get extra points from the judges because I'm very mm -hmm. easy to please. But <laughs> a nice rebound there from Skiff. And it seems like the audience has almost unanimously voted for uh, Venus. And you know what? You would be 100% correct. So Skiff, for the next 15 seconds starting now, you can play with your eyes closed. Hit it. Uh. All right, so using using your the, the power of sound, uh, you die. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, but, but, but the challenge is over. You can open your eyes now. Once oh. you use the stock, the challenge is, is over. So, Skiff getting a, uh, you know, you're, you're down a bit here, but you're not out, buddy. You, you still got this. Nothing like encouragement from my friends. I mean, I would not like to encourage you any further. I'm not as optimistic as Kyle because we do have even more like trouble ahead of you, friends. So definitely no time to breathe easy quite yet. You gotta, you gotta put on this pressure while you can. Controlling the ledge right now, tries to catch a new, uh, neutral get up, but is not going to be able to get, uh, get it out. All right, but let's see what shakes down here again. The Alolan whip so devastatingly strong. Uh, Great move, uh, especially against a slower character like Robin, like we mentioned. But again, Arcade doing pretty, showing some prowess here with the uh, with the magic at hand, Dara. Mm -hmm. oh, but Skiff has yet to find a single one of these two things. It could have been so big, but a big, juicy side B is going to be able to close it out. But for how much longer? Not particularly. Already, next challenge. So we're going to go ahead and leave this up to please, the please chat. Please hurry up, hurry up. Attacks <laughs> only from Skiff or only grabbing. So please vote accordingly, uh, and we'll see what Skip's got. Can we get a judge's ruling on what a Lolan whip counts as? Is that an attack or a grab? It's technically a command <laughs> grab. I'll, 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 I'll throw it. I'll throw it there. Uh, all right. It's, 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 so let us know at home, folks. Do you want to do mm. attack only or uh, I'm getting it in. <laughs> grab them. So we got some, again, we got some time. Oh, goodness gracious. This match is getting really close. It looks like the audience has chosen. Uh, looks like you are grab uh, only skiff. So for the Ooh. next, uh, you know, for the next 20 seconds, uh, you can only grab. Mm -hmm. And well, there you go. <laughs> it counts. You know it what? Blends. I would like to question the, <laughs> the ability of skiff to make his own ruling and whether or not it counts as a grab. Now, Is it a man grab? Yes. Oh no, no. I 100% agree with you. I'm not at all opposed to you. I'm just more so opposed to like the ethical concept of you being able to make your own rules for yourself here, but. Oh. I get, I get I mean, one, I get one. You get one, you get one, yeah. I mean, you're already wearing a chicken suit, so I mean. But while we got some downtime here in a quick second before our, our mm -hmm. next match, Skiff, can you tell us the origin of what Skiff stands for? So, um, well, first of all, Pogfrog, you're sick. Um, keep playing, that, I, I like your Robin, I do. Uh, so Skiff actually is uh, my real life nickname. People call me Skiff forever. It's been just about everywhere I go, I'm a Skiff. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes from my last name, which is Skiffington, not made up, it's not made up at all. But basically, it's just last name, it was my brother's nickname when he was in high school playing sports. And when I got to high school, I was starting to play sports. I was the Skiff at that point. And then, you know, it's just Skiff wherever I go, so. yeah. So, so that means there implies the existence of a, your at uh, one point a Skiff Junior. I wouldn't say I'm a Skiff Junior. That would be my brother uh, TJ, actually. <laughs> that's a that's a that's an it's that's an quite interesting quite name. quite the lineage quite the lineage of Skiffs. <laughs> Four siblings. <laughs> Skiff Skiff Junior and Skiff Junior Junior. So. One day, maybe right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so. Oh, it looks like it looks like our next combatant is ready, and a battle between the anthropomorphic animals is upon us, Dara, with Incineroar going up against Sonic. 
And and truly like a tale of two completely different sets of stats here. Sonic so known for the fact that he's fast, able to move, literally run circles around the opponent. Uh, and Incineroar completely struggles to do just that, right? So I believe Nova Star or whoever, whoever, whoever the kid is, is definitely going to be in for the run of their life today because... Oh, oh. Yeah, listen, it's, it's going to be hard, again, as a... Uh... You know, Incineroar obviously going to struggle naturally with the faster characters, uh, but listen, we're going to do things to keep things even for everybody. So we're going to uh, give the uh, the option of either Skiff has to stay behind his opponent or be on a different level than his opponent. Therefore, if, he, <laughs> if so that means if Nova, that means if our kid is on the floor, Skiff has to remain on the platforms and vice versa. So everybody, what do you want Skiff to do? Stay behind or uh, stay on a different level? And it looks like the winner is uh, stay behind your opponent. So skip for the next uh, for the next yeah for the next twenty seconds. Uh, you must stand behind <laughs> your uh, opponent. Yeah. Boy, he's running around. That's, that's gonna be starting now. So you got another twenty seconds left on the clock at around five forty. Um, that's when your time's up. Listen, I don't care if you're the slowest character in the game. You figure it out. You're a professional. Yeah, get get behind him. That's I'm scared. trying! He's running away! He's well, like... nonetheless, though, see, again, very uh, stark difference in character here uh, with the, uh, <laughs> with, with, again, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, oh, the you're, good. you're good. You're good to go. You in the game. Okay. Yeah, you're good to go like five seconds ago, but I just wanted to see the <laughs> audit a little bit longer. I just thought conceptually it'd be, it'd be pretty funny to see you figure it out because, listen, I don't know how you're supposed to do it, but I'm glad I'm not on the receiving end. I can't tell if this kid's good or if I just can't right. catch him. <laughs> and let's, uh, it could be a little bit of both. Yep. So with right, that being said, it seems like we're going to be... Next... Oh, go ahead, Nara. We're going to be getting into our next thing. So this is going to apply to the next round. So Skiff, you can just play with ease. Uh, audience, flip your fighter. So would you like Skiff to pick a me or we fit trainer uh, going into the next match? Yeah, so make sure to vote down below for me or we. Uh, but listen, uh, I feel like anything right now, any sort of a speed boost will be much more beneficial for Skip. Yeah, uh, probably. <laughs> yeah, so giving giving him me's here is definitely going to be like, I don't know, that's a, that's a little bit mean. You wouldn't want to do that to Skip. He's a great guy. Um, but yeah, that being said, Skip, oh my gosh, just already like, just a whole stock down right now. A uh, competitor who's doing a really good job of just like holding his own and I'm just going to time this out. <laughs> All right, the audience has decided. Skiff, for your next round, you will be playing with me, so I hope you have some cool costumes on deck. Oh, I sure. I sure do. You seem the type, too, right? Like, I feel like that's quite in character for you, but oh. wow, what a conversion from a kid here getting a side B into Florida to be able to close out that stock already with a huge lead to themselves. Gotta say, Skiff, not looking. Listen, uh, just... I totally... I, I totally get the frustration of fighting Sonic. I usually only cast Sonic. So, <laughs> just being on the other side for once is, ugh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but look at these up air conversions. He tries to extend it with another neutral air. Is not going to be able to find it quite yet, but I just feel like a kid is just like doing a really good job of playing away constantly and outside yeah. of Incinero's area of effect. Yeah, that's a, kind of the name of the game as Sonic. You, you are so much gonna be so much faster than everybody else in the game i believe sonic is <gasps> double the speed of the other fastest character oh but this is not going to be good okay but again nice recovery for, for, for this gift not bad for a man in the chicken costume may i mm -hmm. reiterate oh this isn't even a game this isn't even smash bros anymore <laughs> no you're playing sonic's adventure at this point <laughs> honestly <laughs> Oh, this is this is looking so difficult. Skip just choosing uh, to opt for taunts and equality completely out. You know what? I like that up smash attempt because that move has a bit of a deceptive hitbox. It's it can be really funny sometimes, like the way it hits behind. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's, it's awfully uh, strange. Again, Skip sitting near high ish percent right now. Has to be very very <gasps> careful. Yeah, just pressing so many like anti spot dodges and neutral bees. But you know what? Skip is still gonna be back in this, and so <laughs> we can make it happen. Never mind. <sighs> That was, that was yeah, that's that gonna be all uh, they wrote for that sec for that uh, game there. But Skip, you you, you might have survived. However, gotta pick a me. Is there a me of, of uh, is there a me that you enjoy more than the others? 
<sighs> is there a me I enjoy more than the others? Um, I feel like I've never really given me Brawler a fair shot, you know, but I've definitely messed around with the other ones because, you know, me Gunner's just really, really dumb to play on mine. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Uh, so me Gunner's obviously just silly. Me Sword Fighter also just uh, <laughs> a character. <laughs> Let me oh, see me, what I have here, though. Me Sword Fighter is quite the character. So I trust, I definitely trust your judgment going into this one. If I were you, I would listen, man. If Incendio is not fast, neither are the Mies, man, because they're not particularly <laughs> quick. Uh, I, I okay. think I think the strat here is to go with like me, Sword Fighter, just by virtue mm. of having a nice little projectile to poke you. Yeah, you I agree. I, you know what? I it's what the Mies lack in movement speed. They do make up for with moves that you know mm-hmm. help to move a little bit better. Things like the flip jump, which is kind of a watered down version of Zero Suit Samus's flip jump. Uh, so it's definitely an option. Now let's see what costume we got souped up for this. Uh, mm-hmm. right, Cause that's always had to fall with the me's, right? That's what anybody ever cares about. Flying Lotus, baby. That's... <laughs> it is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog versus who I believe to be Rock Lee from Naruto. Yep. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. Uh, also, Naruto, Naruto, just a fun fact, it's one of my favorite uh, series of all time. But look at Skip trying to get up till falling nail conclusions. He's, he's got like some stuff in the tank for sure. But for how much longer, uh, would not be able to tell you because Skiff is gonna, oh, uh, excuse me, this is gonna be thrown to the audience. Uh, we're gonna need you guys to answer correctly here. So, what was the first advertised toy on television? Was it A, Mystic Potato Head or B, Barbie? If you get a correct, Skiff is going to have to play through 20 seconds with his controller upside down. So choose wisely. Please do. I, I highly recommend you do. And right now, things are looking okay for the most part. I, get, you know, I was curious of what the moveset uh, we're running here is. But ooh, we're going to see the hurricane kick come out. That is going to take a stock uh, from our kid right there. So Skiff getting a point on the board. Uh, get Trying to play it extra careful right now. I didn't know what my down B was until right there. <laughs> and it seems like the audience voted for a Misty Potato Head. And you know what? They are going to be correct. So, Skiff, starting now up until 5, uh, 25 on the clock, you're going to play with your controller upside down. Show us. What do we got? Uh, we got? Uh, Honestly, you're not seeing too bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. You're dead. So, the challenge is over. So, Skiff uh, yeah. getting out of there <laughs> scot-free for the most part. Uh, so, so- Bringing it back to an even game here. And uh, a lot of scrapping on the top platform. Not a, re- a lot of real estate there to, to jockey for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but right now Skiff's just dashing back and forth, oh. trying to find uh, perhaps a way to be able to get in here. Such a good position for him, but not going to be able to catch Sonic's landing quite yet. All right, but let, let us see what the answer is going to be. Again, it's very pretty close. A nice catch with the command grab right there. You know, I forget that Meat Brawler has access to that move and being able to catch Sonic like that. Oh, oh no way. Oh, it tries to go for the F smash there, uh, but Nova is still gonna be recovering nicely, just snapping right to the ledge and not going above it. But with that being said, we have another list or twist. So audience vote wisely and we'll see what we can, uh, we'll see what we can get out of Skiff. Yeah, I'm very excited what's coming next for this one as that spring is going to almost edge guard the me brawler. Nice roll behind by our kid right there, but backs are just not strong enough, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And it looks like list has and list has prevailed. So Skiff, uh you you have twenty seconds to list uh five Jedi. Five Jedi, Obi Wan, Mace Windu. Oh, Yoda. and you can't attack, you can't attack the And you can't, oh, and you can't uh, attack while you answer. Can I move? Yes. Yeah, yes. you can move. Okay. Just get it. So Obi Wan, Mace Windu, Luke Skywalker, uh, Anakin Skywalker, and uh, Yoda. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Not bad. You're good I'm not go. a Star Wars fan, by the way. <laughs> I right. feel like well played. As I'm not even lying. I, I don't like Star Wars. <laughs> well done. Well done, young Padawan. As we uh, move on here with our match, so skip down one stock once again. As our kids in that high percent though, so. Now comes the hard part again. Again, being you know, oh a brawler character against a character like Sonic. Did you see that spin charge falling up there? F tilt. That was so cool. Yeah, that was dope. That was that was actually really really cool. I was like, damn, I was I was a little bit impressed there for a second. But yeah, now Skip has to play once again from a really big back, but tries to close it out with a raw up B, um, but is just not going to be able to catch uh, the kid in the air at all. This is looking like the game again, and yeah. it is. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> I'm glad I don't have to fight this kid anymore. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, excellent stuff right there from our kid. Uh, Skiff, how, was, how, how would you rate that me brawler experience? Uh, it was fun. I, I definitely would probably mess around with more after watching people like <laughs> J-Mafia and Larry Lur kind of do their thing. Um, but I made Rock Lee because I thought it was funny. Okay. And, you know, the fact, listen, the fact that I did as well as I did, that says more about the kid than the, you know, me. So that's all, that's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, what? I can feel that, like, sigh of relief from Skiff, knowing that this will be his final contestant, uh, uh. I believe, for today. Right? So we're going to be seeing uh, another kid jump on in. Only two more matches ahead of him. Uh, Skiff, how are you feeling about today thus far? This is fun. Like I, I'm getting beat, which I thought was you know was gonna happen anyway. But uh, I'm having a great time. This is actually a load of fun. I think more people should do this just because mm -hmm. uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. It is a good. T it is definitely a good time, and you know you're definitely being a good sport about it. And listen, you're you're down in the scoreboard right now. But listen, anything's possible. Kevin Garnett taught us anything is that it's indeed that. So uh, we shall see. You know, as we again. Uh, a, you know, you can select any character you want now. Feel free to pick who, uh, whomever you choose. Uh, but while we do so, uh, can you talk about another game that you really like besides Super Smash Brothers? What's one of your favorite video games? Another game I like besides Super Smash Brothers. Uh, my favorite video game outside Smash Bros. would probably be, honestly, Pokemon uh, mm -hmm. Silver. Silver or Gold. Who's your favorite Pokemon? Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is these, just the Quagsire line in general. I love Quagsire. I love Wooper. Yeah, let's see, uh, let's see that, Wooper plush. Show off oh, yeah, I got Wooper plush. plush right back here. Uh, I'm just yeah. a big – I love Gen 2. I think everything about it was fantastic. The mm -hmm. music, uh, even just the old-style pixels, they just I don't know, they bring a nostalgia out of me. Uh, the Pokemon are all fantastic. I love um, I love him. Typhlosion's my favorite starter. Uh, also, just – I know Gen 1, but shout-out to Nidoking, uh, Absolute Chad. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably Tyrantrum after that. I know that's a newer Pokemon, but Tyrantrum just got such a great design. Big fan. I'm, I'm absolutely enthralled by the fact that you just called Nido King an absolute chat. I love that. But with that being said, we are going to be jumping into our next match. Uh, it's going to be Skiff sticking with Incineroar once again. Um, uh, going up against a, a third and final kid who's going to be playing like two rounds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last two rounds of the night. As we see a little bit of mix up in characters here, Skiff. Bringing out the plant, the piranha plant, going up against Corrin. Matchup, Dara, I can confidently say, never commentated once in my life. I think I commentated this like once or twice in my life. Uh, it's it's not good food plan. But you know what? Is anything good food plan? Only psychologically. That's how the coach uh, <laughs> really is able to get stuff off. But speaking of also, it's a... Uh, not really sure about this transition, but we do have another challenge for you, Skiff. Uh, so we're gonna need you guys in the audience to vote for this. So, is Skiff gonna have to play with his shield only? Or is he gonna only be able to fight from the ledge? Yeah, so choose wisely, folks, Ooh. as uh, that's gonna oh, be shit. a stock gone uh, immediately. But yes, Who are these kids? Yes, <laughs> Corrin, de Corrin definitely a shell of her former self, however, still having instances of being strong and According to our poll, uh, Skiff, you can only fight from the ledge now uh, from the next 20 seconds. So, fortunately, I think Piranha Plant actually pretty good from the ledge, all things considered. Uh -oh. <laughs> As you're going to see, again, the, the Patui going to provide some great spacing there. Uh, you know, being in the state of having to re grab the ledge is definitely not great, uh, you know, for a character mm -hmm. like Piranha Plant. Uh, but still, Skiff's actually doing a pretty good job right here. So, my Nintendo Switch just crashed, um, and I no longer have an immediate game feed to myself. Uh, so, Kyle, I'm going to have to ask you to take the reins on this one. Uh, Don't worry, Dar. I got it. Uh, it looks like we it looks like we have reached our, our, our 20 second threshold here. So, congratulations, Skiff. You have survived. Uh, Woohoo! As we continue on here in neutral, again, still down a bit. I ate about 87% from the ledge there. So, definitely not ideal. And now it's going to come the fun part of... You know, the plant plant trying to secure the kill here. This character doesn't necessarily have, uh, you know, a, a, a great amount of killing setups. Just a lot of really strong moves. Meanwhile, Corrin having range, you know, combo tools. Uh, so let's see how it, it, it shakes down here as uh, Skiff has been lapped in percent. Hey, these kids are good. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but yeah, with that being said, we are gonna ask, uh, we're gonna ask chat to opt for a list of twists right about now. So we're gonna need you guys to vote and see what we can hit Skiff with. I, I hope it's something good, uh, cause I'm here for it. As Skiff down to his last stock already, <laughs> looking down the barrel of it, that lead extending, uh, for him. Uh, and right now it is looking like it is going to be twists so skiff for the next uh oh, 20 seconds i took my socks off this time oh yeah you, you, you have to do you have to do five spins in your uh, three to five spins in your chair that's your challenge okay three to five i'd say five we do five ah. yeah. Yeah. Right, that's one what? you can't attack you remember that ah. two ah. what happened <laughs> Oh no! Uh, that's, 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 the, that's not fair! That's he lag switched me! He's watching! <laughs> well, I don't make the rules, I just follow him, Skiff, and that is going to be game. Going to Arcade as the lead is extended even further. I gotta say, really impressed with your form, uh, being able to twist around like that. <sighs> this kid's cheating. <laughs> yeah, let's just say, let's take a look at what we got going on here. As, uh, as I gotta say, as, as majestic as an eagle is, uh, is, uh, our yeah, uh, Skiff one. here. Uh, yeah. can't attack, remember. As, this is why as, chickens can't weren't meant to fly. Has the versatility <laughs> of a chicken, yet the majesty of an eagle. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's not fair. He oh, oh, me. He's All right, Skiff, last match of the night. How confident are you are you feeling right now? Feeling confident as long as I get my stage. <laughs> well, uh, oh. we'll see. I feel like I feel like if somebody is saying that, you know they want this very specific stage. Nobody says that with like good intentions, right? It's like a Mario saying, hmm, I want to go to Yoshi's story. Uh, they got, they, they've got something to fill this cooking up. Oh, if only the stage was legal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oof. Well, well. It's all she wrote, folks. We're going to WarioWare for the last game of the night. Skip the, the stage at once upon a time was legal in tournaments and uh, is quite the stage to say the least. So, but you know, even if uh, Skip does have the home field advantage here, uh, let's see if you know we'll be able to get out one final list of twist from the audience. I'm going to need you guys to vote one more time. Uh, make sure those buttons are ready. Uh, and I got to say, the twist is absolutely menacing. So I would, I would always vote for the twist in this case. Yeah, not, not spoiling anything, though. As again, both players nearing high-ish percent right now. I have to be very careful. It is going to be our twist that wins. So, Skiff, uh, you have to go show us your toothbrush. My toothbrush? Yes, yeah. you have to go right, physically get up. Away. I'll go. be right back. Go. <laughs> That's going to be a dead Incineroar. He has at least five seconds on the Angel platform before things can get really bad for him. Uh, this is not going to be fun. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, and it seems it. like he's not even Look back in time combo. quite yet. Ah, all right, uh, sick. Hold it up to the, hold it up, hold it up to anyway, the camera. Anyway, here's my toothbrush. It's got a little <laughs> thing on it to protect it. I watch this. This kid's not gonna be ready for this. Oh, he thinks I'm sitting down. I'm gonna start playing. Ah, I was hoping he wasn't gonna see that. Excellent <laughs> up there from our. Listen, I gotta. I'm very impressed by how quickly you're able to switch rooms that fast. Not bad. He phased. He phased in and out of multiple dimensions. But yeah, no, Skiff only gonna be not taking that much damage. Only a whole stock down at 80 percent at this point. It could be a lot worse. Is back to gonna be able to kill? Oh my gosh, Skiff. Skiff is truly pulling a, little, a fast one on on this they say kind the of chickens, stage. They say the chickens are the fastest of the birds, though. Ooh, do they, that's gonna do they, be. Do they say that? Ah, maybe, but that's going to be a dead uh, Incineroar right there. Skip down to their last stock of the night. Let's see if our kids can continue to add on to this lead here. What a combo. My goodness. These kids all that's play a, annoying that's great, characters. That's a great play if I've ever seen one, for sure. But it's not over quite yet. So one final multi-choice to the audience. Uh, if you get this one correctly, Skip is going to have to play with his chin on the joystick. Nintendo began, began as a company that sold what? Was it A, matchbox cards, or B, playing cards? Well, that's a, a very good question. And a good question is there's a good answer, Dara, and we will hopefully <laughs> find that answer. Oh, my goodness. I like it. I respect it. I do as well. Very, very uh, nice choice right there. Uh, it's going to be weird. <laughs> Getting dangerously close here to uh, death percent here for Incineroar, but the <laughs> Alolan uh, whip 
We'll take that stock there. Uh oh, yep. that I might be it. <laughs> if, if the answer was indeed uh, playing oh. cards, doesn't matter though. Skip yeah. has avoided the joystick great. on his chin, uh, but definitely took one on the chin right there from Corin. And that is going to be our last match of the night. And by a lead of 38 to 14, our kids are the champion this week. So, Skiff, valiant effort. But uh, listen, you made it. Uh, you, you definitely made it competitive at points. How do you, how are you feeling after today? These kids all play annoying characters, um, and they're definitely better than I am. So <laughs> I'll definitely put that out there. Uh, you know, it was fun to pretend to be a pro for all of two seconds until, you know, I started losing. But I got a win today, so that's honestly a big W for me. And I changed my socks and uh, didn't die. So. I gotta say, I'm very, I'm very, very impressed. It. Not many, yeah. not many people can do that. Uh, Under the circumstances, and you know, in a chicken city, I feel like you did the best that you could. Now, well, before we do actually close out for you today, just want to ask, hey, a, where can people find you? Good. So let's start with that. Where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Skiff Talks. Um, your parents' permission, uh, follow me. Uh, I, I pretty much just kind of, you know, post things I think are funny every once in a while, but mostly just when I'm going live for doing casting, among other things. Mm -hmm. So uh, that would probably be about it. Also, sometimes I ask if anybody wants to play items on Smash Bros, because I think that's a very underutilized rule set. <laughs> and speaking of casting, what are some exciting events that you uh, that we could see you at in the near distant future? So this Saturday, I'm actually going to be doing the uh, True Crime Tournament uh, ran by Crime, actually funded by them. And the winner is actually going to be sponsored by them to be able to basically travel around the mm -hmm. United States uh, and other tournaments just to compete. So honestly, just big shout outs to Crime. I'll be there. I believe I'll top eight with you, Dara, if I'm yep. not mistaken. It's going to be the two of us on the mic then. So if you like what you heard today, you can go ahead and find more of us. There. Thank you so much, Skip, for once again offering your mind, body, and soul to everything that we threw uh, at you today. Uh, we're going to bid you a nice farewell while we finish uh, closing out for ourselves. Once again, thank you so much to everybody else in the audience that was able to stop by for you today. Uh, if you're not following uh, with your parents' permission, once again, Kyle on his social media, you can find him at you can find me at Koopa NJ, folks. Got some stuff coming on the pipeline if you want to watch me uh, on <laughs> Twitch and all that other stuff. And you can check out Dara at, with parents' permission, at Durham Gorilla on Twitter as well. Just keep up with me and all of the different events that I'll be casting and be a part of. But with that being said, thank you so much to everybody that was able to stop by today. I hope everybody has a lovely, phenomenal rest of the evenings. Uh, remember to tell somebody that you care about them. Keep yourselves hydrated and, and go go stretch and get up a little bit because we've been out of the desks for quite a while. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get my blood moving. So we'll see you guys next week at the, about the same time again uh, with no technical difficulties as we did have a little bit of those today. But we'll see you guys next week at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Take care uh, and bye-bye. Yeah. Good night, everybody.